welcome to part two of the Walking Dead Let's Play. If you haven't seen the first one, why not go and see that? Because... Why start at number two? Okay. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. I wouldn't have minded having one of these back in the day. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but he won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just, we're in that car so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages, and then it ain't my last damn tape. But we still got each other. It's better than nothing, right? I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm around. This one looks promising. You could tell how much gas a truck will have just by the outside of it like that. Yeah, sure. Bingo. What's his name, though? Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Gabe kind of looks like that guy from the Breakfast Club, the one that was the rebel. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. Nothing. Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. At least it had some gas. <laughs> hmm. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close.
might be able to get in through the hatch. <laughs> Looks pretty run down. Locked. Sacked a long time ago. Gabe, come check this out. the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. Pretty comfortable and pretty gross. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Check it out. This is actual, honest to God, pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us. Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once. Come on, you know it's not a big deal. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. I'm sorry. Come on. Let's at least grab the food. Thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How How's does it feel to be the bad guy this time? Smart. That must be a new sensation for you. Oh, clearly I have a thicker skin. Hey, Kate. Can you come help us with this? <sighs> hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Whoa, whoa, look, the, the gas is all there. You just keep it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little too late for that. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. 
I know you got people. They're out scouting around. But they'll be back soon. They're not gonna be too happy if they see you pointing a piece at me. Yeah, probably not. Then again, maybe they're already here. Waiting to make an ambush. Fan out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey! You assholes in there! I got your bar! You don't want them getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Don't fuck around with me, boy. had a real face time you can't just take what you like I ate all those yeah me you by yourself now yeah what can I say I fucking love pudding you got a real smart mouth you fucking watch what you say look I I, I get it all right you're starving who the fuck is it at the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight, so let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck oh. was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? He's be like a raccoon or something. If you know something, you better spell it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Come on, man, what else? There were those down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? I died? That was me? myself. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. We 
we still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. <sighs> Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Keep looking forward. Is that Clementine? Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. Well, that's obvious. Seeing how you didn't shoot that guy. Yay! Who doesn't love Clem? Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. <laughs> hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked, and I don't... I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. talk fine but how about you give me that gun back so i can at least defend myself for all i know you'd turn around and use it on me you give me a weapon we can protect each other i give you a weapon i can't take my eyes off you at least this way i know what i'm up against muertos the herd caught up with us Wow. 
Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that? Please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! There! Get to the gate! Now keep going! You'll open up! Shit! One of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well... Welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. 
Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. This place kind of reminds me of Diamond City from Fallout 4. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Oh, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Okay, and with that, I think that's a good place to stop. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I know I am. Goodbye.